What is up, witches and wizards, muggles and nomads? I'm Animagus, and today we got some brand new information about a brand new event. The first event of 2020 in Wizards Unite starting January 7th and going until January 14th at 11 a.m. PST, or I think that's supposed to be PDT, but anyway, 11 a.m. Pacific Worldwide, uh, January 7th through the 14th. It is called the Frosty foundables event and so i know what you're thinking you're like i don't want to i don't want to watch this whole video just give me the goods that i need give me what i need to get through with this thing and give me the tips and tricks and i'm going to jump straight into that so let's go ahead and head over to the wizards unite hub article so this article was actually written by my friend brita over at witches unite so if you want to go check out her video you can definitely do that i will leave a link down below in the description to the article itself if you're just into reading but if you are commuting or you're riding around somewhere or whatever i just want to give you this opportunity to listen to something that will be able to hopefully help you during this event again like i said january 7th through the 14th 2020 of course that's where we are right now in time and space starting and ending at 11 a.m pacific time so the reason that it's called frosty foundables and the reason that it's a frosty foundable event is because there will be increased sightings of foundables trapped in ice confoundables and we'll talk about those in just a second increased wizarding xp defeating those uh, those particular confoundables words are hard and of course we have some really cool features tonic for trace detection will increase your chances of encountering these particular ice foundables and barufio's brand elixir will be increased from 30 minutes to a full hour the free store pack will contain 50 spell energy and one potent extimulo potion and here is a cool graphic of course courtesy of none other than orange wizard that will show the sos bundle and what they will offer us in the store which is five opponent stimulos two tonics and one barufio's brand elixir for 420 gold which is a deal by the way it's a very good deal so i highly recommend that uh, but we're going to look at what matters what foundables you're going to be seeing a lot of in this particular event first and foremost the one that we will probably be hunting <laughs> most frequently will be yule ball harry and parvati this is a severe level trace legends of hogwarts um and the place you know is the yule ball in the great hall there the cool thing about this particular foundable is it was featured in the brilliant event but there is a normal version if you will that we will be able to see in this particular event which will show up when you use your tonic um, of course you can still probably find these in landmark areas but again tonic is more effective when you're not playing in a flagged or landmarked area so just keep that in your mind quidditch keeper ron the hippogriff on the care magical uh, creatures page the nimbus 2000 from magical games and sports the hag from dark arts the hufflepuff student from hogwarts school and of course the ministry official from the ministry of magic now i kind of have a little bit of a beef with this event because what it's doing is not really giving us anything too crazy uh anything super rare like when i look at this page i'm actually stuck on all of these because I haven't been able to get the fortress foundables that go with them. So if you have trouble finding those fortress foundables, I actually did a video yesterday and I'll post that in the card above. You can click there and I just break down every single fortress foundable and where you can find it. But that was only for the exploration page. Now this is the exploration page is the one that has all the gadgets and the badges and the stamps and stuff like that on it but it doesn't have any of these particular uh, traces on it so you have to be pretty smart when you're thinking about what ruins chamber or tower chamber dark chamber whatever chamber you're going into and think about spinning your rune stones wisely because otherwise you might end up wasting a bunch of rune stones trying to prestige a page because if you don't prestige your pages or you don't have these particular images pasted already in your registry then this is going to be a waste of an event it's not going to feel very special it's not going to be very fun for you because you're not going to feel like you're progressing at all and again like i said really the only foundables that i will need out of this event will be the yule ball harry and parvati and of course the hippogriff from the care magical creatures page so those are really the only two that i need in order to get any progress with the quidditch run the nimbus the hag the hufflepuff student or the ministry official i will have to prestige those pages i only need like one or two more i think of the hufflepuff student in order to get that um 
or excuse me, the Bogger cabinet to prestige the Hogwarts school page. So hopefully I can get that one and that would be like a gold frame thing. I'd really be able to grind up on uh, that particular level and that would be really awesome. So again, like I said, Brita also touches this in her article, choosing runestones wisely makes sense. If you're going to go into fortresses, make sure you are also popping that Barufio's brain elixir because it is a one hour a long potion this time and again this all starts on the 7th so as soon as 11 a.m pacific happens for me it's 1 p.m because i live in the central time zone um so definitely make sure you're using those brufios in those fortresses for maximizing those xp gains also of course making sure that you're using the tonics like i mentioned before in those specific areas that aren't flagged if you're at home chilling on the couch winding down for the night whatever those are going to be probably more beneficial to you in pulling those ice foundables and ice confoundables out than just you know go into a flagged area i've used tonic and flagged and non-flagged areas and again it is way way better trust me it is way way better when you're using it in a non-flagged area so lastly but not leastly again brita says here to get a group together and stack dark detectors on ends uh, if you do have a community it might be a really really good way to grind out some of the fortress foundables that you are going to need uh, for me in particular i actually already have the ministry official page or the ministry official excuse me pasted into my registry but what i need are a lot more of the memos and I, I need some more of those prophecies so in the meantime before this event starts it might help you to focus down on those specific foundables that you need in order to complete this event so i know that if i go and i look at my magical games and sports page i need to get some of the quidditch pitch stands in order to progress and go forward with this event so i need to go and i need to do some fortresses and i'm gonna have to use some magical games and sports runestones so that will be the best way to focus down think carefully and think about the way that you can play that will actually help your play be more efficient and more beneficial to you to help you progress in wizards unite since we're talking about fortress foundables and we're talking about being able to progress i do want to go ahead and let you guys know about those specific foundables and what page they go with in order that you know what to grind for in the meantime before this event starts so again you can progress what I will do is I will start at the top of this list and we will talk about each of these foundables and what fortress foundable in the exploration registry page that they share so you know what to be looking for in this event. So as we start out with the Yule Ball, Harry and Parvati, that is actually shared with the Yule Ball invitation. That one will be found on the Yule Ball Great Hall Legends of Hogwarts page and again that will be found in fortresses. Now if we look at our Quidditch registry or magical games and sports rather we look at that registry and scroll down to the Quidditch pitch at Hogwarts we see that Ron actually do need a couple of run we see that he shares the page like I mentioned before with the Quidditch pitch stand so that Quidditch pitch stand is gonna be something that you're looking for on the care magical creatures page if we scroll all the way down to the bottom we'll see the hippogriff shares a page with the puff skin I'm nowhere close on that I need 13 more so I'm really gonna have to focus down on my care magical creatures if I want to have any sort of success in this event and prestiging that particular page going back to the triwizard mage um tri wizard maze gosh what is wrong with me the tri wizard maze actually has the nimbus already placed as you can see but in order to get that i'm gonna have to find some more tri wizard cups uh i'm also gonna have to get some more quidditch through the ages books and all that stuff i've seen very few of those it's actually a really really tough page to prestige um, again moving on to the hag the hag lives on nocturne alley and in order to prestige that page you need nocturne alley signs now those are found in fortresses but the swooping evil is just an extremely rare spawn that does not exist i'm hoping that we can get another dark arts community day soon or maybe an emergency or severe threat type community day coming up soon so we can get some more swooping evil i've only seen a handful of swooping evil i've seen four and i think three of those the ones that i caught were actually all from wizards unite fan fest so that's a really tough one to get but the nocturne alley sign will hold you up if you don't have that Next, we go to the Hogwarts school page, and you can see there the Hufflepuff student, which I actually have prestige recently. Apparently, I've been doing a really bad job of keeping up with my stats. So this event will be really good for me because I'll be able to find lots of him. Uh, I see that particular foundable all the time. As you can see, I've seen 211, but 
this will be super, super helpful. And you can receive the Bogger cabinet in fortresses. Um, you can also get some of the Gryffindor student foundables, I believe, in port keys. So that might be helpful as well to you. And then last but not least, the ministry official, as I mentioned, are the memos and the prophecy. So that's kind of a really tricky uh, a bit to find. So if you have these flagged areas near you, you know that you can go there pop some dart detectors down on a couple of ends. You can visit those types of areas and find those types of foundables that will help you prestige your page so you can complete this event and feel like you did really well, feel like you gained a lot of traction and got a lot of momentum going with your registry and progression. Guys, that is gonna do it for me today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did get some advice that you enjoyed, please let me know by liking the video down below. You can leave a thumbs up down below as well as clicking that red subscribe button if you haven't already and ringing those bell notifications so you're made aware the next time I produce a piece of Wizards Unite content. I am really excited about this event because it will help me progress a good bit. There are some things that I need out of this event, so that's always really nice, uh, but I am a little bit skeptical because it does seem like I'm mostly going to be held up by not having all of the Fortress Foundables that I need. So let me know what your thoughts are down below if you have any strategies that you plan on employing during this particular event and all of that good stuff, guys. Thank you so much again for watching, and until next time, peace. Ryan Little. <laughs> Little.